Hey everyone, Beth here at Yoga Lattes London. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. So I wanted to jump on quickly because I've just been working with some private clients here in my studio via Zoom this morning. And we've been working on trying to engage more into the glute muscles in chair pose and in other poses as well. And I just thought I'd jump on quickly and share with you uh, this kind of, this approach to doing Utkatasana chair pose, which I think you might find useful. So this is all about engaging more into the glutes. You know, we have three glute muscles. We've got two smaller muscles, the glute medius and glute minimus on the outside here and the sides. And we've got this big glute muscle, the glute maximus at the back. And quite often, if we do a lot of yoga, these muscles can become weak because, um, which is why I love incorporating more Pilates into yoga in the form of yoga Pilates, to kind of bring more strength work into this back body, into the posterior chain, and to fire up the glutes, which can be weak for so many of us. You know, if you have weak, weaker glutes, it can affect your back health, your stability in your back, uh, your core, it can affect your posture, the way you stand. Um, and so it's really important not to forget about these muscles and to really work on engaging them when we can. Um, in the appropriate ways, obviously. So working with um, chair pose in this way, you're gonna need a strap. So if you've got a yoga belt, great. If you haven't got a yoga belt, you can use a dressing gown belt or a tight uh, scarf, something that you can pull apart quite tightly and it's not gonna rip, obviously. So something fairly sturdy. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in a standing position. So popping one foot and then the other foot in your strap and you want the strap to be just above the knees so not kind of mid thigh not up here but kind of further down not obviously on the kneecaps but just slightly higher up and then you want the feet and knees and hips to be hip distance apart so you want the feet and knees to be hip distance um, so tighten the strap as much as you want to really to kind of get that that where you can work the legs apart but they're not going really wider than, than the hips um, so once you've got your strap, you've got your belt, sort of tied tightly, you can tie a knot or whatever works for you, but you wanna feel that you can pull the legs apart. So this is, this is number one, this is the first tip. So standing in your standing position, let me get, this, let me get my strap out of the way. You've got, you're grounding down through the feet, so feeling that connection down through the floor. So all four corners of both feet grounding nice and, nice and strongly down, you're spreading the toes, you're getting the toes nice and wide apart. And we're feeling that equal pressure between both feet. So left and the right foot pushing down equally. Now we're going to focus on pulling the strap apart with the thighs. So I want you to really push in opposite directions with the legs. Almost like you're um, pulling the strap, trying to rip the strap apart. And feel how that engages the outer part of the legs here and into the glutes. So I'm feeling this already into my glutes. Um, and then number two tip is we're going to start to imagine that we're externally rotating. So kind of imagine you're externally rotating these thigh bones out in the, hip, in the hip joints. So externally rotating those thighs. And at the same time, I want you to imagine we're pushing down the insides of the feet. So the insides of the feet are grounding and at the same time, we're pulling the strap apart and then we're externally rotating, okay? So we've got these two things, all right, relax. So letting the glutes and legs relax, remember, because this is a bit, this can be intense. We'll come into our chair pose. So we're gonna bring the arms up on the in-breath and exhale, we're gonna sit the hips back to find our, our low stool, our chair behind us, and at the same time, pull that strap apart. So I really want you to think about pulling the strap in two, at the same time, slightly externally rotating the thighs. So this is an isometric contraction. We're engaging the muscles without sort of moving a lot. So you might not feel you're moving a lot here, with this external rotation, but there's still an element of a tiny bit of external rotation to switch these, particularly the glute max, the big, big muscle back here at the back, this big glute muscle on. Keep pulling apart, keep externally rotating. Arms can be alongside the ears or in front or cactus arms, wherever you prefer. But we wanna make sure that the spine is in neutral. So we don't want um, too much rounding and we don't wanna sit really low. You know, you wanna lift the chest. So we really are working the legs and the glutes. Right, take a breath in, exhale, push down through the feet, come back up to standing, take a rest, breathe, allow your muscles to relax for a moment. This is strong. And then we're gonna add on one more thing. So this time, whenever you're ready, coming back into your chair, grounding down through the feet, making sure that we've got feet, knees, hips in line. Breathing in as you bring the arms up. Exhale, we're gonna sit back to find our low chair. 
at the same time pulling that strap apart, so really pulling the thighs apart, feeling the glutes switch on, slightly externally rotating those thighs, and then we're gonna slightly tuck the tailbone under just a tiny bit, not too much rounding, but just a tiny bit, keeping that length in the spine at the same time, and that will really switch on this big glute muscle at the back, and the smaller muscles working for us too. I can definitely feel the work here. Breathing into it, maybe sitting a little bit deeper. So rather than just using, you know, hinging at the hips and just being a bit, little bit lower in it, I want you to be a bit higher, sitting back to find a low stool, keeping the spine a little bit more upright and neutral and really working those legs. All right, take a breath in and exhale, push down through the feet as you come up, so strong legs as you come out of the pose. All right, great. Oh, you can see here by my breath that that is tough work. But definitely worth having a go at if you're interested in, in, in strengthening more with the back body, which often, as I, as I mentioned at the beginning, in yoga, there's an emphasis on a lot of things, but often we can forget about strength work in the back. And as I said, if you don't have strong glutes, that can affect your posture, it can affect your back health um, and your core. It's really important to get these muscles fired up. So this is the, so a great thing. We did it also in bridge the other day with the strap in bridge pose and, and it's great to use this in lots of different ways to kind of fire up fire up the legs and fire up the glutes anyway i hope you enjoyed that do let me know if you watched this and you enjoyed pop your comment let me know i'd love to hear from you um, i hope that you're gonna have a lovely relaxing weekend ahead and i'll catch you guys really soon take care for now bye